Yo, the Sleep Moss man, OBH, y'all already know, man. Y'all tuned to the Philly Fame TV, my guys. Leap Moss, man, what's going on, man? We, we fresh in the studio right now, I mean, right. you got the project coming out. I mean, we're gonna get into that for sure, for sure, and all that. But first and foremost, how are you, good brother? How are everything with you, you know what I mean? How, how the fam and all that, man, what's up? I'm tired, to be totally honest. But I'm working, man, you know. Yeah, I see you working heavy, dropping visuals, I mean, the shirt film and all that coming. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on, but you know, it's been yeah. six months since the last Time we sat down with you, we had Dash do the interview. Now, I mean, you got into a lot of your story. Now, I mean, a different side of Leap, you know, opening up about you, you know, your parents and all that. So, a lot of people got different, get to see you in a different light. And the, the feedback was crazy on that, John. I don't know if you peeped it or not, but a lot of people, now, I mean, was fucking with that interview and all that. So, it's a lot that happened, you know, from that time till now. So, we just going to recap a little bit some of the stuff that transpired briefly, and then we'll get into what's going on right now. So one of the things that I wanted to, um, to ask you a minute ago, like I think after, right after the interview we did, it was like, I don't know if it was before or after, I don't even know if we talked about that, but the celebrity boxing job. Cause it's, it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. the reason I bring that up is cause it's current now, it's like Blueface then jumped out there, the little Bosco, so, so it's like once y'all said y'all was gonna do it, it seemed like a lot of people drew the interest to it, but I don't know what happened as to why y'all didn't do it. So that's one of the questions why, why it didn't happen. And my other question is, would you be down or would that be something in the future you'd be looking to do moving forward? Uh, not really. Not really. I ain't really. I mean, I was, I was going to do it, but the money, man, the money. It ain't really ready to open. But we wasn't doing celebrity boxing. We was doing uh, BLK Prime. Okay, yeah, 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 right, right, right. Joint. Celebrity boxing, they've been trying to get fights, you know, for the longest. And BLK Prime actually had a, you know, had some fights. They had a fight set up, so everybody jumped on the wave after that. But no, yeah, I ain't a rapper. Got you, got you. Alright, so some time passed. I mean, you always been dropping songs and music here and there, but another little controversial situation took place, the Mikey T situation. Now, we ain't gonna dig too much into it, you know what I mean, because everybody seen what happened or whatever. I just want to ask, like, after the fact, did y'all two ever talk or y'all just left it where it was at? Was there any conversation had or y'all just like, we gonna leave it where it's at? I mean, it is what it is. I might be keep trying to reach out, but I, I never really had an issue with Mikey. I was going through some things. I told Mikey, I told myself I wasn't going to never put my, like, punch him or nothing like that. I wasn't trying to get into it. Uh, like a physical altercation. I just was trying to smack him up a few times. It was like he was playing with me. That's uh but no, yeah, I ain't talking. Right, so you say you been trying to reach out like to do an interview or just to holler at you, like period. I don't know, I mean, I don't know what his intentions be. But I you know, I shut it right down. So. Alright, all right, all right. Got you, got you. Alright, so another thing I wanted to touch on that, you know, I never I don't think I ever really got got you to speak on Mm. Um, King Erna, y'all relationship. I mean, cause I see like, I mean, every, a lot of times I see you, I see him, and vice versa. I mean, and it's been like that for a little minute. So I wanted to know, like, you know, how y'all actually met. Cause I know y'all ain't from the same hood. So how y'all actually connect and get cool and build the rapport that y'all got? It seems like y'all mean y'all rock together. I mean, in the public eyes, how we see it. I mean, so it looks like y'all rock together for a minute. So explain that. No, yeah, that's my guy. That's my brother, man. That's my extended. That's extended family. We met probably as soon as I came home. I used to see him at my man crib all the time, at, at, at home crib a lot. Then uh, I think he came down, he was selling some shirts, the no, the no tattle teller. He had a no tattle teller shirts. And I bought a couple and a lot of people bought a couple. I mean, we just clicked from there, I believe. We've been together damn near every day since, man. That's my guy. All right, got you, got you, my man. All right, so let's move forward to a more recent thing that transpired with you, you know, the Black De Niro back and forth battle joint, the little Blair Cool sparring match. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I so I know y'all cool, because y'all already talked about, like, yeah, y'all was cool, y'all basically some Blair Cool sparring match, but it only went one round, 
So I, I think he kind of said like it was some people in the comments trying to make it more than what it was. So if you kind of left it like with the one round thing, so we just explain you know briefly to the people like the one round thing. Why I was only never left doing it. more than one round. I would I wanted him to do like if he would have did three rounds, then I would have put some effort into my round. I don't really think it was a fair fight. I think it was like handicapped. To my advantage, that's why I didn't. I never wanted to do it. I never agreed to do it. I never told him I was doing it. To me, it was like a clout thing for him. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't look at it no other way because I never, I wasn't on the live when they was talking about battling me. I, I wasn't a part of none of that. I woke up one day in the middle of a battle. It was like, what's going on? What is this? No, I'm not battling. I mean, if it was somebody that I felt was on my level lyrically, then I'd have gave it a shot, but I ain't. I only responded because I was getting personal phone calls. Like, my friends would pull up, yo, man, yo, what you going to do? Man, stop playing, man, I ain't rapping against that fool. But people were saying like they thought that I should respond, they didn't want nobody to ever see like they got one off. You know what I'm saying? Gosh, yeah. So I responded, put him, put him in the ground real quick, moved on with my life. Yeah, that was that was a good little back and forth though. A lot of people definitely tuned in. I mean a lot of comments, a lot of good feedback, a lot of people enjoyed, you know, the lyrical bands were y'all cool. It was just like some lyrical one, really no beef and a lot of people. I, I, I mean just wanted to see me I was talking so much shit at the time. You know, sometimes I get into the to the to, to my arrogant mood. So I was talking a whole bunch of shit, so a lot of people, it didn't matter what Black the Nero said, they'd have liked it just because it was coming at me and I understood that. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. So you know. Gotcha. Yeah, shout out to Black too, bro. I mean, definitely was a good little. He still alive? <laughs> he took crazy, man. I ain't know he was still alive. He's still living. All right, shout yeah, out to Black, man. Alright. Shout out to Black. Alright, let's switch gears a little bit. I mean, you got an update for the people for us, like, yeah, you know, your two brothers that's booked right now, Mulas and, and Ed, you know what I mean? Any updates or anything that's going on? How they doing? The experience? Right, they where, they, where they housed at and all that? Spirits is high. They both good moves be home in a couple years. Leave Ab at uh Islandwood Penitentiary. You know, he be home in a couple years. You know, God love with that appeal that pill was in, so, you know. Right. Just waiting. But they spirits is high, man. Things the type of guys that be, you know, walking their head down. You know, they good guys, stand up guys, so they hold it pretty well. They hold it better than others, I should say. Right. They cool. Alright, uh, that's what's up. I know people heard from Ed, he did interviews and talked online about it, but Moolahs ain't really do nothing, so people probably was curious. You know, I know I was, and I would see how he was, and all that, make sure he did. No, that's Moolahs. Moolahs is the brains. Moolahs just sitting back, plotting. Right. Take over the world when he get out, bro. That's Moolahs. Right. He figuring something out nine times out of ten. Right, right, right. Alright, now, you and Dark Blue had your little situation or whatever. So I ain't gonna get into that, you know, that was already well documented or whatever. But I just wanna speak on because he got sentenced and all that. I wanted to know, like, did your energy towards him change in any way, shape, or form? Like, once you heard the news, like, are you getting the time, whatever, or just still, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. It is exactly where it's at.